Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. What I what I found in in hanging around with native people, I my, in my previous book in the absence of the sacred. To those of you who read it, know that half of it is devoted to indigenous issues and half of it is devoted to technology. It's sort of a comparison, and um, so I spent a lot of time. That book took me 13 years. That in the absence of the sacred book, um, and. Um, what I what 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 was what was what was very very important to me was that concepts that that we don't take seriously or that we would never use in conversation we would it would be, you very rarely hear a non-indigenous person use a phrase like Mother Earth let's say or or that buys that idea or that calls calls animals and trees uh, brothers and sisters but you know that's completely routine among that's not that's not unusual if you're uh, on native lands anywhere. I mean, I, 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 and I'm including like um, a visit I had to the very far north of Canada, to the Mackenzie River Valley, or among the Dene people there. You know, these people are, live at 40 below zero uh, for half the year. And they talk that way too, everybody. Every, they just talk that way. I mean, they're, they're living in regular houses and they have radios and, and uh, some technology around, but the, the, the traditional concepts are still alive. They're still alive. They live, in, they live more and more in the modern world because that's, what's, that's the pressure that's upon them all the time. But the traditional concepts are still alive. And if they could, uh, that's what they value. If they could really um, manage it, they would go all the way with, with that. I'm very, very convinced. So. Um, that's what makes it doubly, and, th and that's what we need, of course, are some of those values for the present time. The whole idea of accumulating a surplus would be very helpful. Well, I mean, yeah, surplus, the whole idea of, of, of constant, I mean, growth is a complete anathema, you know, to the, it's, it's a completely ridiculous concept, uh, never ending growth, or always increasing growth, right, which is what the standard is now. You never hear anybody run for president of the United States and, and say what we need is to stop growth. But that would be that would be correct. I need a steady state system, you know, a steady state. We need to design economic values and systems that are sustainable and that sus sustain life, and where we where we have a, a net energy balance, you know, a net uh, resource balance.